board, they are all red. Okay. <laughs> they are all red. So just pretend they are red, green, and yellow. Okay. So if the reset input is active, okay, what will we do? First, we're going to use the push button as a reset. Press the, press the push button, everything is supposed to be, in this case, uh, are off. Okay. So it's active now. Yeah. So if you press it once, okay, the green and yellow should be off. If you press and hold, if you press and hold, it's going to blink the red. Okay. If you just press it, the whole thing will restart. If you press and hold, it's going to blink the red. The black red will blink in all directions. Okay. Right. So now we are done with number four and five. Let's look at six. When the lights is green, you stay there for three seconds, and then move to yellow, and then move to, to red. If you are in red, you stay there for three seconds, and then go to yellow, and then go to green. Okay. That's not how traffic lights work. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to make it more complicated? Okay. Well, it just skips the yellow part. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so if you are in reset, when you come up from reset, you let east west go first. So that will return to green, then the other one will be red automatically. So that you get one priority for this one, this direction. Wow. Yeah, otherwise you'll be all all green. You cannot have that. Okay? You will force one side to be red, and that side has to be green. green. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright? So your goal is you're going to use one hertz clock, so everything is running at one hertz which you can reduce from assignment number four. Okay. All right. Any questions about this? Now when you do this, based on my experience, students have problem implementing the blinking. The blinking part. That part is tricky. It's, it's harder. People don't have no problem implementing the transition from red, yellow, green, or green, yellow, red. That's easy. Just draw a state diagram to figure out how many people are Okay. The blinking part requires additional thinking. So if you cannot get the blinking part, you get partial credit on the back. Okay? If you, if you want to say, I want to challenge this myself, I want to do everything, fine, go ahead. There's nothing stopping you from doing it. But the, the blinking part is more work. If you say, oh, I want to take a partial credit, fine. Just do the transitions, you get partial credit. You understand? So the the blinking when um, when you press and hold it down for three seconds, then no, you press and hold, and then automatically it will stop blinking. Okay, for for you cannot you cannot predict if the user is press and hold or just press. Okay. Yes. If user says I want to but press and hold, you you still have to give it a certain amount of time. No, you if you press it once and then. The, the, the whole thing restarts. If you press and hold, that means you stop blinking. It is doable. It has been done many times. Okay? It's, it's not easy to do. You really have to sit down and think about how to do this part. Mm -hmm. So this is the hardest part of this assignment, is the blinking part. Okay? The transition part, you draw a state diagram, it's done. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Yes? Is it okay like, if we if study using LEDs on a board, like if we have the colors, can we just use yeah, I want to go, yes, absolutely. Well, I have the LEDs. Just you have the LEDs, yeah. Like you need to have it. You need to have external resistors to protect the LEDs. Mm -hmm. to, these are already protected. But if you want to use an external one, you're going to put in the, the, the resistors. You need to be at least 300 ohms in series with the LED. At least. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't use one k 300 is good. Understand? Right. So if you don't know how to do it, no problem. Please do not attempt the blinking because it's challenging. Okay? Do the sequencing first. Red, no. yellow, green, green, yellow, red. Can I go figure out how to do the blink? Yes. And then once you finish that, <coughs> you put a separate project to look at well, how I'm going to do the blinking. So take the, whatever you have finished, you change it. You have to change it to make the blink. Understand? When is this due? Thursday. 
and did a trial. Yeah. We'll draw it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Initially, it was due on Thursday, but I, I think we did not have enough time. For the, uh, yeah, I can, I can get, make it next Tuesday. Next That's Tuesday. Fine. You get one week to finish. That should be enough. Because you have the clock running already. There's no need to run the clock. Again, you cannot simulate your design at one hertz. It doesn't work. It takes forever. Yeah, that's what. You want to happening. simulate? You have to take out the clock, put it one megahertz in there, and just simulate. Okay. That's just like what I did in class. Yeah. It's putting the one hertz is going to. It took almost days. an hour. Yes. These simulators are not built for days, and minutes, and seconds. These are built for milliseconds and microseconds. Understand? Any question about the assignment? Yeah, this assignment is due next Tuesday. All right. Yeah, it was due next. It was due this Thursday. Oh no, next Tuesday is perfect. Yes. For the blinking, right? Yes. The only part that would be different would be the process. The logic is different. Yeah, the logic is definitely different. Because you are you are going like this. Suddenly somebody tell you, hey, don't don't do it like this. Change it. Then you'll be doing like this. Oh no, you gotta figure out. It's not easy. So I oh, I can do one minute. Just gotta think about it. But wouldn't that be more of like an addition to it? It's not. It's not strictly addition. Because you modify the normal flow of the state. Because you kind of have to modify the reset as well, and you have to modify because um, it's blinking now. So you need a time, like how how long is gonna be on, how long is gonna be off. All how, the, how long is done by the clock? The clock is one hertz, so it's going to be blinking at one hertz. To, to the clock? Yes. Okay. But this is not the normal flow of the traffic light. It's different. Then basically, you are getting out from this sequence and doing something on it. When people will say, I'm not reset, you know, come back. And then you know where to come back to. Okay? Yeah. It's, it's, they're doable, but it's challenging. So I advise you to finish the sequencing first. At least yeah, you get the credit. We have to <laughs> East and West and North and South too. Right. Any yeah, questions? It has something to do with the reset too. Any questions about the assignment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything to do with All right, so now let's look at 